today about some money missing from a charity for today's edition of The Law New. Back with us are attorneys Greg Fellerman and Ed Saramboli. The glasses are back uh, as well, guys. Good to see you today. Well, if I can't be smart, I can at least look smart. <laughs> He's so, smart. Always good to look the part, right? All right, so let's get to this question from Lucy in West Scranton. She says, I work for a local charity and we have noticed missing money. What is the first thing we should do? Should Lucy immediately call the police? Uh, Lucy, these, th we get We've had a number of these questions on, and I mean, it's really disheartening to hear uh, that this is going on. The charities, the little leagues, I mean, it, it's really very unfortunate. The first thing you should do is pick up the phone, call the police, call the DA, make sure that this is, this is documented, um, and make sure that the investigation's done. Uh, the, the, this is just going on way too often, and the people that are doing this need to be held accountable for the consequences of their actions, especially when it involves a charity. I mean, everybody's, you know, working hard to, uh, uh, you know, do, do the right thing. And so pick up the phone and, and get a hold of the authorities. And, and the other situation is in some that we've seen that some people don't want to call the police. So the other option would be you can do your own audit. You would bring in an outside accounting firm, let them come in, review the books, figure out exactly you know what's missing then try to determine who did it and if there is you know some impropriety then obviously you should reach out to the authorities I've seen in certain situations where local charities and organizations try to keep it in internal which they can do it's their right but you know I again with a charity this type of stuff you know do your do an audit reach out to law enforcement you got to do something though you can't let that stuff go on, you know yeah, unaccountable it's just it's yeah. wrong it's, right. it's terrible some good advice uh, what if our viewers need your legal help and they want to ask you a question how can they reach you guys? they call us at 570-714-HURT see us on the web at 714hurt.com well and go to our facebook page and if you have a question like this uh, give us an idea of where you're at and then what we could do is we can get back in touch with you and give you the contact number for local authorities so you don't have to go, you know, go hunting for it, whether you're in Scranton or Dunmore, or, you know, wherever it may be. And we can kind of give, you know, give you, uh, give you some guidance there. Even Williamsport, Pottsville, yep. and Stroudsburg. You got it. All right, we got the whole area covered. Attorneys Greg Fellman and Ed is Boley. Gentlemen, thanks so much. Thanks, thanks for having us. All right, don't forget, we'll feature your question right here on The Law on You. Just hit up pahomepage.com or call us on the hotline.